So she's finishing up the last thing she was eating. I'm going to give her another roach here. Come on, don't be lazy. Take it. There you go. And the male. He's, well, he's inching closer and closer to her. Just watch for a moment and see if he takes that one last giant leap of faith. She seems very invested in the roach at this point. Just threw the remaining leg from the previous roach down on the ground. Has both hands now clasped around the one I just gave her. Oh, and there he goes. So, she's resisting a little bit. She's turned her head, and if her arm reaches out to start to push him away, or even grab him to feed, to eat him. That's going to be time for me to put the camera down. You can see some of the color on his abdomen there. He has his abdomen in sort of a curl there too. That's what the males do. They curl it around to touch the tip of it to the female. Oh, she dropped her roach. That's not good. That's not usually good. That means that he is now the focal point of her attention. And so this could definitely go in a bad way. She seems frozen, and he's sort of feeling out the situation. You can see his antennae vibrating there gathering information, deciding when to make his best and final move. Sometimes, oh, no, she's going back for the roach. That, that is a very good sign. Or is she? Now he is in a better position to link up with her. We might see his abdomen snaking around the edge here shortly. She's still striking, trying to get the roach. And if I weren't filming, I would have by now gone and grabbed another roach to hand to her. But I also want to keep a close eye on this. You see that he's well positioned in terms of his forelegs. He's grasped, grasped around her. Well, she, now she's turning. Now this is, this is where things go wrong. I'm going to tilt this cage up in a different direction to distract her. She was starting to, he, he was in a bad position. He was sort of pinned there down on the bottom. And so through many years of watching mantises mate, I've sort of learned how to distract them, sometimes for their own best interests. This is the only male I have for her. And so I'm doing her and all of her offspring a favor in making sure that he doesn't become the best meal she's ever eaten. So I think I will, well, try one thing here. I'm going to hand this bit of roach back to her. There we go. Come on, grab it with your hand. There you go. And so maybe that will occupy her just enough for the male to maneuver himself around, to position himself right where he needs to be. The 
They seem to be on pause here for a moment, and so I think I'm going to stop the video and go and get another roach so that I'm ready to feed her again before she turns on him. If he can get himself linked up to her and start mating with her, everything will be good. So we'll keep her occupied. All right, he is starting to position himself a little bit better there. You see the tip of his abdomen starting to snake around. And she's finishing her roach. I'm really at odds right now whether I should try to feed her this other roach or just let nature take its course. I think I'm going to pull back here. I think, I think they're just... I think they're doing just fine on their own. Yes, it's happening. Successful breeding attempt. We did good. You did real good. Hopefully we can all expect to see some babies produced from these mother and father mantises soon. Spodro mantis, lineola, giant African mantis. Such strikingly different colors in this male-female pair. Good job, guys.